All right, guys, another Network Plus simulation for me. Today I'm going to show you all internet protocols you need to know for your Network Plus exam. It is drag and drop simulation. Of course, there are plenty of protocols, port numbers you need to remember, but this will be part one of the video. It will be more videos. So please, if you're new to my channel, do subscribe, hit the like button. I upload CompTIA, A+, Network Plus and Security Plus simulations. So yeah, please do subscribe, leave a comment below and hit the like button so more people can discover my videos. Thank you for the support and let's go straight to the simulation. All right, as you can see on the top here in the orange box, we have the name of the internet protocols. On below them, we have their description and on the right side, we have their port number. So all of them, they are mixed up. We need to match them with their port number and with their of course, we need to choose their internet protocol. Okay, let's first start with the first description. We're going to read all of them. In this video, we will cover how, oh, how many are they here? One, two, three, six. So in this video, we, we will cover six internet protocols. We will be more videos. So like I said, please do subscribe. I don't want to make my videos more than 10 minutes, guys, because I'm not sure if you're watching the whole videos. So yeah, let me know in the comment how you want to do my videos to make them longer or to make them in parts. That's why I don't want to bore you to death. So let's get straight to the simulation. This protocol primary sends messages to a server for forwarding. So who sends messages? What protocol does that? And yep, that's right. That's simple mail transfer protocol. Let's cut the text and paste it over here. Okay, simple mail transfer protocol. That's the first step of the exam. The next step, we need to know the port number on the right side. So what port number does it use? Yes, it used port number up here, 25, and secure connection with 587. That's important port protocols you need to know. Next one. This protocol assigns IP addresses automatically using information provided by a server. So, this is dynamic host configuration protocol. It assigns IP addresses to a devices in within a network automatically. Okay, so what port number or port numbers does it use? Yep, it used 67 and 68 UDP ports. All right, let's go to the next one. This protocol is used when you need to transfer files over on encrypted connection. So this is because they say here, the keyword here is encrypted and this is the secure shell, secure transfer protocol. So, uh, you know, basically they call it secure file transfer protocol, but, uh, and because it uses a secure shell connection. In our case, this is the secure shell. Let's paste it over here. And what port number it uses? Where is it here? Yep, 22 TC. Next one, a protocol that actually lets you transfer files across an IP network and it can accomplish this between any two machines that are using it. So again, this has something to do with transferring files and which is file transfer protocol. It resides on port number 2021 FTP. Where is FTP here on the orange box? FTP, here it is. Okay, we have here, so far we're doing great. Two more. This protocol is used to resolve fully qualified domain names to their IP addresses. And that's the easy one. That's the domain name system, which uses port 53. Also, it can use TCP and UDP as well. The main name system, it is right over here. 
cut, paste. Okay, the last one for this video. This protocol allows a user on a remote client machine to access the resources of another machine. Its speciality is a terminal emulation. So again, we have some kind of we have a remote client and we need to access resources, some kind of transferring things, you know. So that is the Telnet protocol. Uh, it is up here. And what port number it uses? Yep, it does use port 23. It is over here. And that's it for today's video, guys. We learned six, I mean, I'm sure you already know these protocols from your A+, but in Network Plus you also need to put some more information on them to add some more. And of course in Network Plus you need to know more protocols, you need to memorize their numbers. That's why in this uh, series of videos I'm going to show you all the protocols you need to know for Network Plus and it's you guys, you have to, you know, I'm showing you just here a brief description of them. It might be enough for the exams, it might, it might not. So you need to expand your knowledge. I'm just showing you some kind of simulation. And like I said, please do subscribe, hit the like button so more people can discover my videos. Otherwise, they just stay there and nobody watches them and I'm just wasting my time because it cannot reach people. So thank you very much. Look, as you can see here, we have many protocols. So I'll do more videos. I'll see you next time with part two. Take care and good luck with your studies. Bye.